And developing tonight, horrifying video of a coyote attacking a 20-month-old toddler. Take a listen. Come on. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Hi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Just terrifying, mm. and even more, this is the second coyote attack in the same area in just the last week. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kadiba Devine. And I'm Mark Curtis. As a parent, that video you just watched is just horrifying to watch. Let's take a look. A mom, a dad, her child coming home when the coyote goes straight for the child. You can see the shadow of the attack and the mom running to rescue the child, making sure the toddler is okay. Team 12's Michael Doudna talked to the mother and what is being done right now to prevent another attack. Michael? Hey guys, wildlife experts say they haven't seen an attack on a kid in years, but now they've had two in less than one week. Like it inside. That coyote must have watched us get out of the car and kind of waited for the right time to kind of go after my son. Oh my God, are you okay? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 530 Wednesday afternoon, Kelly Perosi's son attacked unprovoked in a matter of seconds. It's adrenaline. It's you just feel, you know, fight or flight kind of kicks in. And this incident is the second confirmed coyote attack in the last seven days, both near Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard. Time, I remember my five-year-old daughter yelling out, coyote, coyote. On Saturday afternoon, the Miazzo family was playing in Aztec Park when a coyote attacked Kurt Miazzo's one-year-old son on the playground. It happened so fast. Both children are okay, but the parents are concerned after two attacks involving one coyote in the same two-mile area. To show this kind of behavior is very unusual. That's Darren Julian with Arizona Game and Fish, and he says these are the 23rd and 24th human coyote attacks since 1997. Last one we had prior to this, this issue was 2017. And Julian says it's likely one coyote responsible for both attacks. And they have been looking for it since Sunday afternoon, but catching the animal is proving Difficult. You know, there's desert washes that cut through these areas. Uh, it's heavy foliage, you know, very, you know, dense cover. In the meantime, parents want this animal caught to make sure another child doesn't get hurt. I would like, to, you know, my kids to be safe and that coyote not to be prowling my property. And authorities say to be on alert if you live within the triangle of 94th Street, Cactus, and Frank Lloyd Wright. And if you do live in that area and see a coyote, you're asked to call them, and we'll have that number on our website at 12news.com. I'm Michael Doudna in Scottsdale, 12 News.